Earlier this week, Rolling Stone came out with a report where they spoke to insiders, multiple insiders close to Donald Trump's campaign, who said that Donald Trump was already before the DNC even started behind the scenes. He was raging about his fear that the DNC would get more television viewers than he got for his Republican convention. And even though we're still not completely through with the DNC, we do have the early viewership numbers. And it looks like Donald Trump's nightmare has in fact become a reality. That thing he was terrified of happening happened all week long as the DNC has now drawn in 21% more viewers than the Republican convention. 21% more viewers. Let me put that in perspective. 11.4% of the sampled households watching in 44 major Metro areas across seven networks, 11.4% of the households were watching the DNC. The RNC topped out at 9.4%. So it may seem small. Like, well, it's only a 2% difference. Yeah. But when you talk about the difference in the numbers, it is a 21% gap. Millions upon millions more people watching the DNC than tuned in to Donald Trump's little RNC pity fest. That is what Trump feared the most because nothing matters more to Donald Trump than ratings. Right. That new book that recently came out about uh, uh, apprentice in wonderland is what it's called. Talked about the fact due to interviews with Donald Trump that the author had over the last year or so that Trump said the only thing that mattered when he was at NBC were ratings. And he said, and the same can be true today. All that matters are the ratings. Well, if that's all that matters, Donald, then you've got a very big problem on your hands because what we have seen from the DNC this week is energy, enthusiasm, hope, a little bit of snark, you know, some, some personal attacks peppered in there, but it's been something that Americans have enjoyed, enjoyed so much by the way, that even hosts on Fox news have praised the DNC. Megan McCain came out on Wednesday and said that the DNC looks like a fun event, especially compared to the RNC. And if the insiders, you know, if the politically connected people are seeing this, then it is definitely translating to the voters in this country. And we see that with the viewership. We're not getting headlines because somebody said something crazy at the DNC. We're not getting headlines about kid rock or Hulk Hogan ripping his shirt off. We're getting headlines about Michelle Obama's incredibly passionate and amazing speech. We're getting headlines about the standing ovation that Joe Biden got president Joe Biden. We're getting headlines about AOC and her speech headlines about Barack Obama and his speech and how great they were. Hell Biden didn't go on on Monday night till late, late, late in the evening. It was like 1125 PM Eastern time. And even still, only 2% of that massive DNC audience, you know, that was watching it on TV, only 2% of people had tuned out by that point, which means people on like the East coast and even central time zone here, they stayed up way past their bedtimes just to watch president Biden give his address. I can promise you nobody lost sleep trying to stay up and watch Donald Trump. In fact, people probably fell asleep during his speech. And for somebody like Trump who put so much stock into ratings, we have seen him ranting like a lunatic recently about crowd sizes, which for the record, Barack Obama took a good shot at him about that. All that matters to Trump is how many people are there, whether at the rally or in the TV audience and his audiences for both for television and his rallies are shrinking. Harris's are getting bigger. Trump is losing at the thing that he cares the most about and nothing eats at him more than that. And again, we still have Harris yet to give her speech, but if she pulls in more than 28.4 million viewers, she will have beat the number of viewers that Donald Trump had during his speech. 
based on what we've seen so far, shouldn't be difficult for her to do. And I do hope that she does not just because I hope American voters tune in to, to learn more about her. Um, I want to see Donald Trump have a full blown meltdown, which I do believe is what will happen. And he'll lie. He'll say that the ratings are fake. His RNC was way above it. You know, don't, don't think for a second that Donald Trump is not going to claim victory. Don't think that he is not going to say that he still won somehow that the media is faking it because he will. I'm telling you right now, before it even happens, he will do that. But we already have the data. We already have the proof, but let's take it one step further. This is not just about ha ha Trump got lower ratings than the Democrats did. What do the ratings tell us? The ratings tell us that people want to see the DNC. They want to hear from these Democrats. They want to get to know them if they don't know them already. They didn't feel that way about JD Vance, who was, you know, relatively new to the national stage in terms of being a politician. They didn't care to hear from Carrie Lake. They didn't care to hear from any of the other lunatics that took the stage at the RNC. They didn't care. It was boring. It was tired. It was old. The DNC is not like that. So the simple virtue of the fact that they're getting more viewers shows us that more people are interested in the democratic party. And you can't even argue that, okay, well, yeah, that's because the Democrats are just sitting around watching TV more often. No, they're not. If they were MSNBC would be crushing Fox news and the rating is, ratings every night. And they don't Republicans consistently conservatives sit down and watch TV in the evenings. It's what they do. But even with that, they still couldn't beat the DNC in the ratings. The American public, much like the audience, the crowd at the DNC this week, they're energized. They're excited about this. They want to see what comes next. They like the hope. They like the energy. They don't like Donald Trump sitting up there and airing the same grievances he's been airing for four to eight years, depending on the grievance. They're sick and tired of it. They're tired of him. They don't want to hear it anymore. They want something new. And yes, Kamala Harris is new for most Americans. Yes. She served as vice president for over three and a half years. Great. But nobody hardly ever pays attention to the vice president. I'm sorry. I don't mean that as an insult. It's just reality. But now she's there. She is the top of the ticket. She is the person to beat now, according to the polls. Voters like it. They like her. They like Tim walls. They don't like Trump. They don't like Vance and they want to watch this. They want to see what's happening. And these ratings, the fact that the DNC is pulling in much higher ratings than the RNC is just another positive sign that we could be headed for a really amazing November. Hi everyone. This here is little Athena. And Athena would like to know why you haven't subscribed to Fair and Balanced yet. So please don't let Athena down. Subscribe today.